So let's go, man. Happy New Year to everybody. Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Zoe. Uh, this is episode 85. You know, with the stock plug, we're going to name this one Planet Profits. Like that. Um, it's only right. You know, we got uh, our two young kings here, you know, who are really uh, impacting the culture, really making a difference. You guys know this guy from the earlier episode with yes, the sir. stock plug. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Welcome sir. again, babe. Happy New Year. My brother, you know always. what I'm saying? Great Pleasure. to meet you. Oh, happy New you know what I'm saying? Brother. Absolutely, course, man. Course, so. Course. Um, I want to start here with Mr. Rinse and Repeat, man. Introduce yourself. Yo, what's going on, guys? Happy New Year's. My name is Earth to Rinse. You can catch me on Rinse and Repeat. Uh, you know, I've been trading for the past five years inside of the uh, forex market, uh, crypto market, stock market. And, you know, it's been a phenomenal journey, you know, just partnering up with, with Tone. You know, we've been pretty much, you know, angling every side of the corner and just providing amazing value day after day. So it's an amazing year, man. We about to, you know, do some amazing things uh, coming on in the near future. Yeah, yeah, definitely gonna run it up, man. Mr. Social Proof, what's the word, CEO? What up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. So good to see you again, man. Thank Happy you, to brother. have you here. Uh, I know you talk a lot about Social Proof, <clears throat> so but just a friendly reminder on day one of the year. Yes, what sir. is so? You are Social Proof, right? And tell us why. So Social Proof is just basically um, being an example of winning in a in the field that you're talking about. So you having social proof is uh, me making other people successful in the same exact field that I'm talking about. Yeah. That's just social proof. Yeah. And I see you've been doing a lot of teaching. Yes, sir. You know, so once you made it, I mean, you're still yeah, making we, it. We, we, yeah, we, 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 but you we, know, we be, you, you, you're well on your way. We ain't level one. We ain't level one. For sure. Yeah, really, sure. I mean, one. you know, you're well on your way. Yes, but, sir. But, you know, you were in the beginning stages the last time we spoke. Right. But what made you want to teach it now? Uh, so I always had a niche for teaching. Yeah. I just wanted to help more people. Yeah. And I was doing like more one-on-ones before. Mm -hmm. And like now I have like groups, I have settings, uh, master classes, masterminds, mm -hmm. right? So I just put everything together collectively because it's so difficult to impact, uh, at one person at a time yeah. when you can get multiple people in a room and you can, uh, let them know. Um, how to grow and how to get better, yeah. then it's a lot easier for you to tackle uh, more students at one time yeah. than one at a time. Yeah, absolutely. Now, honestly, yeah, so just to piggyback off that, just just from the uh, uh, learning perspective and the teaching one, you know, we, we really want to give back to the community as best as possible. Right. You know, like right now, we've been pretty much going to the library and, and pretty much basing our brick and mortar from there. Right. And it gives us the opportunity actually to give back to the places where we came from. You right. know, so it's an amazing thing how things just come full circle, just yeah. us being on the educational side first, right? right? Mm -hmm. Learning the game, right? And then mastering it. And then now, you know, pretty much multiplying that in tons, you know? So every, yeah. every life that we, you know, pretty much encounter, we're kind of changing them on that, uh, you know, uh, financial advice, you know? Yeah. Right. So you said you were, uh, you've been in Forex for a little while. Yeah, so so I'm a network engineer for a fi uh, financing company, right? Uh -huh. That basically uh, uh, focus on, on Forex exchange, right? So mm -hmm. I first started just off the IT, a perspective and honestly i'm gonna be honest with you like i didn't even know what i was doing in the sense of the industry right yeah. like i pretty much was like all right you know you're gonna be doing the back end work of the company all right yeah. cool so they just tell me my task and i'll figure it out do it. yeah until i started really diving into that field of work and understanding that yo i'm actually inside the market now i'm in the yeah, forest market right. now right now mm -hmm. we, i'm seeing how the executions are being done right yeah. how these banks are pretty much buying from another bank yeah. And just how that whole repository system is working, and just the advancement, right, from the execution side, right? Yeah. That's what we're kind of focused on. Like, how can we execute way much more quicker? Yeah. Data, nanoseconds, you know, just for more efficient, efficient yeah. trading. So once I started tapping into understanding now the bar game, right, the yeah. chart game, right, yeah. like what's this? Like now this is a whole different ball game. Now I went from the tech side now to the actual interface and understanding, you know was candlesticks and understanding the technical analysis of things. And then that's what really actually opened the door yeah. to like stock market and crypto and things like that. Just mm -hmm. from the understanding the utility from these buying and selling aspects. Fine. So, so what's the misconception with the Forex that we see on social media? Well, it's tough, you know, it's really tough because at the end of the day, you know, you have a lot of people providing uh, products that are false, right? You have a yeah. lot of people that tend to be saying that they grew rules because yeah. they, you know, made in a certain amount of, you know, cash funds for a year, good mm -hmm. PNL. 
which is amazing, but that doesn't really consider you a guru a cool, or yeah. even an educator, you know? So yeah. right now we definitely have been in a stagnant kind of environment where you see a lot of those people and it kind of like kills like the bigger conversation, the bigger of, conversation the, of those yeah. people that are actually- So I can actually work. tap in as well. So the yeah. Forex market with IML is uh, basically they have uh, a foundation of mentors. Yes. And they provide a, a mentorship and a coaching um, mentoring program. Mm -hmm. So when you're when you're when you're buying into Forex, you're buying into a collection of a library of mentors and coaches that are, are looking to propel you and get you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of the times most people um, fail at Forex or they fail at anything in life and it's not because of the mentoring and it's not because of the coaching, it's because of the person. Yeah. Right. So understand that insecurities and failure are the most um, the number one reason why most people fail. Yeah. Right. We, as as individuals, um, we're 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 a, a culture, right? We're a culture where we're insecure, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're scared of failure. Yeah. So when people are looking at forex, they're looking at world venture, they're looking at anything that has to do with a marketing type of uh, program, mm -hmm. right? Or or marketing type of position, they was never taught how to market. Yeah. So they don't know, they, they cannot be successful in a field where they don't know nothing about. Right, mm -hmm. right, they right, cannot right, right. win at a high level if you know nothing about business, mm -hmm. yeah. if you know nothing about being an entrepreneur, yeah. right? And another thing is when people get into like even our Discord, they, they, they never traded in their life before. Yeah. But our Discord is a lot more um, affordable than uh, my master class, yeah. right? So it's it's a lot easier to pay me seventy dollars for the month than to pay me five hundred, yeah. right? So people that never traded before, what they're gonna do? They're gonna pay the seventy, 70 uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. and they're gonna try to figure it out, yeah. right? Seventy is a lot cheaper. So when they try to figure it out, they they they're gonna bump their head, yeah. right? Uh, and when they bump their head, they're gonna say, "Oh, this is not for me." Yeah. Right. And then they're gonna they're that's gonna a, that's their first step of failure right there. And and yeah. that and that's it what, what a, fear looks like. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. when 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 you jump into uh, anything, right? Not just forex, mm -hmm. right? Because forex has a misconception, but it, it has a misconception because of the culture of our people, yeah. Latinos and blacks, we're insecure. Mm -hmm. We feel like like um, we can't win. We feel like the odds are against us. Right. Yeah. We feel oppressed. We feel yeah. like it's like everything. it's like fear based. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Though. Everything is don't set get up me wrong. The forest market is a trillion dollar market. Beautiful market. Right? It's yeah, 24 mm -hmm. 7. Like, yeah. You can make money 24 7 yeah. if you utilize the tool and you know how to master it. Like, I know yeah, a lot right. of people in that space that are killing it. So yeah. I'm gonna and, and mind you, we're not you know? in IML. Yeah. We're not in yeah, forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the reason that we embrace it yeah. is because we're mentors and we're coaches. Right. And yeah. we understand that they, they have more clientele than we do. Mm -hmm. yeah, and mm -hmm. I'm going to have, if, I, if I've coached over 300 or 400 or 500 students, I, not all of those guys are going to be winners, but they're yeah. not winners because the material is bad. Mental, they're not winners the because yeah. they're bad. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. lazy. They're mm -hmm. not putting yeah. in, the, in, the ethic, in the effort. Their work ethic isn't as good, right? Mm -hmm. But then you're going to have people that, that are, are successful. They thrive. People that branch off, yeah. right? People yeah. that, that do their own thing. Mm -hmm. They're going to make money because they were taught and they would say, yo, I, I can do this and I'm going to make it work. So yeah. having that thought process where it has to work or it has to work. Yeah. Not everybody has that thought process. That's yeah, tough. right. That's and when true. we have that that thought process, like such as myself or Arvin, mm -hmm. it has to work or it has to work. What's going to happen? There's no other plan. There's no other plan. So it has, yeah, to, yeah, work. It has to work. It has, it has to, to work. work. Yeah. So when yeah, I quit yeah. my job at Enterprise and I said, yo, yeah. this shit has to work or it has to work. I ain't go back to Enterprise in two years. Right? Why? Because I said, yo, this shit has to work. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And when you put your mind... And you embrace the process, you're more likely to become successful. Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. And I think for all those people on social media, don't send money to someone you don't know. Yeah, that's another. You know what I'm saying? I think I think thing. that's where people yeah. are yeah, yeah, are getting yeah. taken advantage of. But listen, you don't follow the person. The person. Well, just I wouldn't say you, you don't know. I, I would say that you don't understand. You don't understand. So don't 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 place your money in places you don't understand. It's like investing is like you don't want to invest something that you're willing it, it, to lose. You know why? You know because I, I could be a complete stranger. Yeah. And I can be the person that can elevate your life, right? Yeah. Everybody you don't know is a stranger. Like you don't know Jason. Which I yeah. happened before. Stranger. But yeah. he can yeah. he can literally become an asset by 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 now creating all of your content and helping yeah. you build your brand, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. he's a complete stranger. So. Yeah. Uh, and Jasanti's behind the camera, guys. Just so you guys know. Yeah, shout yeah. But, out to Jasanti, but, man. But just so that you understand that it's it's not the stranger part. Yeah. It's not the stranger part. So I want you to like 
understand it's, it's never going to be the strangers yeah, strangers, you, uh, strangers are the mentors yeah, sometimes yeah, strangers be the ones that be changing your life and it, exactly they, they actually support you more it, than, than your friends I mean so it's not so what it actually yeah. is is don't put money in anything you don't understand because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if you don't understand it when you don't understand something it's a big you're, misconception you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna have to yeah, fear yeah, a failure yeah. and when you have to fear a failure right what happens to you first you give up yeah right so, so I guess the bad part about it would be, with anything, you know, getting taken advantage of as okay. far as the person ghosts you. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. that's another part that's that, going that, on. That, that comes with investing. That comes right, with investing. Right, yeah. right, that's right, a, right, that's right. the nature of life, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But you want to do it correctly. Like, you don't want to send money to somebody's cash app. You don't want to send some money to someone's Zelle, right? Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. going to do it, hey, let, let, let's make sure this person has Establish the website. Establish a relationship. Right, you know yeah. Build, build, build. You got to vet the person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... As far as moving forward, yeah. we were talking earlier off camera. Okay. Um, just about the hood and the mentality and right. about people just not knowing. Right. So you've become even more financially literate yep. over a period of time. So what is it about financial literacy that people don't know? Well, people don't know what they don't know. People so, don't know what they don't want to know. So, you know so I, think, I think for financial literacy, it's more so as a... You can pick up a book, right? Mm-hmm. You can watch a video. There's so many resources for us as individuals to grow and become um, competent. Yeah. And I think that was the issue. The issue is lack of confidence. Yes. Right? Our people are not confident. Yeah. Or the right? motive. You know, they're, 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 they're not they're, confident. They don't have a motive. And, you know? and, and I know, like, my DMs are filled with, oh, I don't even understand it. That makes my brain hurt. Or, like, like there's so many things that you never understood before, you know what I mean. But the only reason that you understood it was because you said, "Yo, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm give it a this. chance, I'm right? Gonna, like, I, I, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. if you play baseball, right? And you never swung a bat before. It's how tough. do how do you get better at hitting <laughs> at hitting at hitting the yeah, baseball? Yeah, yeah. How do you, you get better? Train. You gotta, you gotta practice. You gotta, you gotta, 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 gotta be in the gym. So the if gym. you've never traded before, how do you get better at trading? You gotta work. You gotta practice. If you're not good with money, how do you get better at it? Keep managing it. Managing Do you it understand how yeah. simple yeah. this is? Like, yeah. it's not rocket science. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What people make it rocket science because it comes back to those two things that I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. People are insecure and people don't want to fail. People yeah. don't want to try stock options and fail. People don't want to try Forex and fail. People are afraid to say, oh, I tried it and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah but the thing is so also is like, you know, within that failure, there's, there's, there's a lesson and experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, you know, if you tend to grasp that experience and lesson and the, on the correct way, you could have massive breakthroughs you yeah. know what I'm saying like with anything in life with any you know what's investment the best part? and everything like that I'm gonna tell you what's the best part about it for me is no one was around me to tell me how to become good at what I'm nice. doing yeah, like right. now right, you have right. an opportunity to pay somebody yeah. $500 to learn they everything did, that they, they, they know did all they, the work you know for mean? you you like, know what I'm saying did, like yeah. bro you have to you have to invest in yourself and it comes down to self development Nice. Right, so in self development, right? So the reason that I don't agree with like IML and World Ventures and all that stuff is because although they have resources and, and mentors shout out to World Ventures, you should be here, yeah. right? Where you at so, right now? You so, should be right here. So, <laughs> so all, 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 all of these guys, the reason that I don't, I don't associate, the reason that I'm not fond of their yeah. programs mm-hmm. is because they don't set you up for success. Yeah. Right? It's like you buy this product. They buy the product, you and know, a lot of times they expect pushing, you, you know? to to mimic. Yeah. Right. And as I said in my class the other day that you was in, of it was you you ha- if you're paying for something, you're paying for a guide and you're paying for guidance. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. A lot mm-hmm. of times people assume so that you're paying for a guide. Yeah. Right. Like, oh look, I'm gonna show you this blueprint. This is the blueprint. Like a pamphlet. You yeah. know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, Some yeah. people don't work that way. Right. Like I know they're like, oh, watch this video. Like, like, no, dude. Like, a lot of people we're not. We don't want to watch a video. You, know, you need to. You need mm-hmm. to show me mm-hmm. what you've done, yeah. right? Step by step. It's like if, if 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 someone tries to pull my card as a as a as a as a trader. Yeah. It, the, the first thing that if if I'm new, I, I would want to see someone's P and L. I would want to see the P and L. you can't right? just tell me you're a and good P&L, trader. And P and L is profit facts. and losses. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, And yeah. why is profit and losses so important? Is because most people are gonna say, "Yo, I did very well last year. Last year was the most." Fucking volatile that was, year. That like, was the best time yeah, of the year to get yeah, rich. If yeah, you ain't yeah. get rich last this year, year, you missed out. This, this year, 
It's going to determine if you can trade or not. Absolutely. And I think when you put yourself in a situation where some people are going to make money, that's there were so many people on my Instagram that was showing that they made so much money on Instagram on 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 uh, on uh, flicks sh- taken, on t- <laughs> taking pictures of options, yeah, man, and then boom, six it, months it, hits it, them. Like, whole yo, count, what's going on? whole like, count is blown. You get the phone why, call like, yo, I need help, man. Why is your phone, why is your account blown? Your account is blown because you had no plan. There yeah. was no planning no phase. Plan, no it is. was just, oh, this is a good stock. I'm going to trade this stock. And then when the market crashes, you you, you know, you get your it's ass off. handed to you. Right. You yeah. know what right. I mean? So, you know, what we teach is we teach the, the planning. We teach the tracking. We yeah. teach the understanding of placing a stop loss. Understanding when reversals are coming. Right? We, 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 we teach these things to put people in better positions. Yeah. Right? Things that... I didn't know, right? Like when I when I tell a story about how I almost lost a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Tough when I almost man. lost a hundred, I had yeah, zero man. stop loss. Lost a hundred bands. Yeah, that shit still gets me chill. Right? Every time, right? every time, every time every I time went started, from a hundred thousand dollars to zero. Yeah, it's tough. Man. And then they went from zero back to a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. The same play. The same play. The same. I just didn't sell it. Yeah. But this is what happened. I had no stop loss. Right, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand. There was no trade market. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, think about how I would trade. I would trade on. I was a swing trader at the time, right? So what I did was I said, you know what? I don't want to trade for the next six months. I'm just gonna let buy me, Shopify. Let me hit a home I, run real quick. And, I, and, and I'm just gonna hold it for the next six months. Yeah. Well, Shopify, it died completely. Yo, right. Yeah. So I was in Shopify calls, and Shopify the next day, it just tanked. Right, yeah. and I bought during earnings. I did like every bad move a new beginner trader can do. Yeah. But I had a hundred thousand dollars, and I know that I can. Um, I knew that stock options was lucrative, and I know that I can be able to flip a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. So as as a as a as a new trader that was making money, I said, you know what, I'm gonna do the right thing. The right thing. Yeah, honestly, and and, and, it, and, it, and it turns sour. I think yeah. the right thing, right, and it's something that that he really preaches and pray, and he really like does that to the teeth. Is the mental aspect of it. Right? Yeah, yeah, the mindset. The mindset of a trader or just an investor or entrepreneur is super yeah. crucial. That you gotta keep sure that you have it to the T. You know, yeah. I'm up five a.m. in the morning in the gym. By six yeah. o'clock, I'm ready to do a pre-market. By the time I'm already hopping on the Discord, I already ran through a whole day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my body's sharp, my execution is sharp, yeah. my agenda is sharp. Right, yeah. it's already written. But in a sense of like, you know, it's a big misconstruction with the mental aspect and we teach that right yeah. we teach you yeah. that at the end of the day for you to become a winner you have to train yourself to be a winner right, right? yeah absolutely. you have to take those wins and, and 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 grasp them but also grasp those losses that you take as well too right yeah. so we do an amazing job man and and tone is phenomenal when it comes to the mental aspect because honestly yo it's 90 percent mental you yeah. know and 10 percent like really execution you know what yeah. i mean because right. if you're not mental to these points where like look in a situation like that right if someone had the weak mental mental capability in that trading aspect, they would have already lost that trade, right? right? Yeah. Because he already knew that he wanted to come on top of this trade. He didn't know how to, right? right? Yeah. He was trying to do certain different functions that he was not used to, right. but yeah. he noticed that at the end of the day, I got to figure this one out. This yeah. is my only plan A, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So the mental aspect of things, you know, it's, it's, it's super crucial. And we continue emphasizing on that growth. Right. Like you can't really grow without that part. But, that, but, but that's why that was the purpose that came with the master class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 I don't I don't want you to lose hundred K. Yeah. Right? I, I we already almost, did it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. We did it for <laughs> we you. Did it for yeah. you. So now the goal is to make you better. I need to teach you everything that I didn't know. Yeah. So now I have a journal of all the things that I did wrong. Yeah. And now I just teach it. We literally right. just pass you the, our, our you. lessons and experience yeah. to you. So you, you don't know? have to take them. Yeah. The so. only people that fail in the master class are the people that have a very bad work ethic. And that's yes. just and that's the they, fact. They, 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 it, it comes down and, and, and we had that conversation the other day, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it comes down to mindset. Like people yeah. don't understand how important the mind is. Yeah. Like your mindset and your discipline is super important. Yeah. Because like he said, he goes to the gym. I don't go to the gym. I yeah. want to go to the gym. Right, but yeah. my discipline in trading is better than his discipline in trading. Hundred yeah. percent, right? Um, <laughs> even though he's more disciplined as a person, yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, probably yeah. eats better. Yeah, right. I don't know about and, that. <laughs> well, I mean, but all right. So let's say maybe not eat better, but yeah. let's say he does train harder than me. Yeah, 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 right. Because he's in the gym, but we have a discipline, a two different types of discipline in the market. In the market, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Like he get, he lets more. Green trades go red. Yeah. I don't. Mm-hmm. There's no it's way. Tough. There's it's no tough. way for me to yeah, let yeah, a green yeah, trade tough, go red. You know what yeah. I mean? So, um, Arvin is a great trader because he wins more. He has a higher risk tolerance. Yeah. Since I've lost um, the amount of money that I've lost in the past, 
I I came with a mindset that I would never lose money again. Yeah, like, you, you, you don't care about losing five percent, even ten percent. I just don't want to lose at yeah. all. At all. So yeah, I don't yeah, lose I'm at saying, all. Like, I, don't I don't lose, lose at, at all. all. Like, like the la I think I lost once, um, in the last three to five months. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Yo, all of my trades are winning. Yeah, the Discord yeah. has been on fire. Yeah, yeah. So I, fire. I, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to say the Discord this yeah. month has been phenomenal. I yeah. think so far we've been like at least up to like 85 percent trade success. Wow. Yeah. You know, so it's been a phenomenal thing we've been on. Uh, I mean, you know, definitely, much. definitely shout out to the Discord. Okay, you know, shout out to everybody doing nice. their thing. I think for the people that haven't tapped in yet, I think the beautiful thing that you can see from here, different shades of brown, the market looks like us now. Yes, yo, you know I'm saying yo, like we're it's starting really to look like that us, door. You know we're saying? breaking so, through that door right now for sure. It, for it, sure. it really is one of those things that you know it, it shouldn't be as scary as it once was. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have people who talk your lingo and are from where you're from, right, and right. are relatable. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. give it a chance this year. You know, hundred percent. Join yeah. Planet Profits. You know, be a part of what they're doing. Um, but how do you wake up every day and lead? You know, like with, with with everybody bombarding you with so many questions, and how do you how do you do that every day? Yo, we have a we have a great system actually on our Discord. Like you know, you know, I know a lot of people have higher beliefs and different systems and things like that. However, though, you know, we want to make sure we start that day with of a good assertiveness, right? So we yeah. have a manifestation uh, a channel mm -hmm. where pretty much every morning we'll come together, right? We'll say like a scripture or no, we just pretty much set the day. Like, alright, guys, let's have a great day today. Like no matter whatever the conditions of the market, just make sure that we're mentally prepared and we're going with the right intentions, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, with every trade. Mm -hmm. So waking up every day like that, understanding that you have a community that you could come to and actually be like, yeah, Yo, you know what? Let's not even talk about trade. Let's like kind of talk about our personal stuff or not even personal stuff, but like let's tap in on a spiritual level now. Spiritual you know what I'm level, saying? Yeah. So uh, just the approach waking up like that every day, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And understand that you have a team that's pretty much coming together on that same, you know, motive. You know, it's a great thing. Honestly, like the, the talks before pre-market, yeah. it actually is better than the talk during the market during because the market, you yeah. already got this whole fuel started, you know? Yeah. You got everybody on the same page and by the time the market starts, you already got this like yeah. sense of of assertiveness you know yeah. what i'm saying that you want to su be successful during that day mm -hmm. and everybody is helping each other out and motivating one another so you know starting the day like that man like yeah. anything you know meditation and you know self-care you know yeah. just, you know starting your day off that good mental footnote yeah know, i lead so. the prayer a lot a lot yeah, yeah. Uh, i love to lead the prayer. what are you saying your prayers I, I, you gotta call me and pray one of these mornings those prayers are and you know uh i was someone that was never religious right yeah uh, I hated the idea of, of religion. Religion, yeah. I thought it was like, uh, I thought it was fake. Mm -hmm. It was a gimmick, um, you know. It's a lot of, it's yeah, a lot of misconceptions I, yeah, like anything I, I else, it was you know. Fake, you know. Yeah. When I started to, uh, you know, pray more, uh -huh. I started to um, lead the prayer. Yeah. They, people were uh, impacted. Super yeah. Impacted. Nah, by it was a, body. it was a massive magnitude. Um, like we wasn't, we wasn't expecting. Um, yeah, yeah. Ed, Ed, come, you can come in, Ed. We wasn't, we wasn't expecting um, for the part of that right Discord to, 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 to turn out that way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like once people started to gravitating yeah. to that uh, manifestation of how the day yeah. just started to go, like yo, it was massive. Like you could just see how. Um, the success rates of the traders were better because we started the system of you starting your day on that, you know, yeah. good foot. You know what I'm saying? So it's an amazing thing, you know, that you could put words together and feel that powerful yeah. when it comes yeah. to it. You know, you have and everybody feeling the same way. Like I said, it, it does come down to mindset. Uh, when you're able to clear your mind and speak to your friends and family and let them know that, you know, comfort is on the other side and... You can find comfort through people. You yeah. can find comfort through um, friends. Mm -hmm. You can find comfort through uh, new friends. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And um, I think that that was like the idea of what religion did to me. Yeah. So the affirmations and mm -hmm, manifestations mm -hmm, was mm -hmm. like, you can open your mind and understand that things are are not there, but it, it it's going to be there. Yeah. And when you create that for yourself, like. There's not a limit that you can't reach because yeah. you, you you're creating your own images. Yeah, and the thing is like you're not alone neither. No, not at all. And then I'm saying you have everybody feeling the same way, like, and that's the best thing about it. Like everybody, kind of piggybacks from each other's feelings. So if you're yeah. having a bad day, they're like I'm having a bad day. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're gonna actually make sure you have a better one this right. day because you're gonna yeah. we're gonna make sure we push you that energy. You but know, I think I think people don't realize the importance of imagination. 
Yo, yeah. the imagination this year like, is when you're, key. When you're talking Literally. to God, bro, yeah. like he's not he's not talking to you back. Right, right, yeah. right, right. There's no one there to talk to you. Right. Like, and it's the same concept. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you have to create your own theory of what is what. Well, and yeah. what's good or bad, you, you, bad or good. You, you know? manifest that, right? right, right like, yeah, So right. God is, it's not that God is giving you because you're good. Mm -hmm, it's because mm -hmm. you're telling, you know, the universe and all you're speaking to God and you're saying, yo, like, this is this is what I deserve. Mm -hmm, and I know mm -hmm. for me, for somebody that was, you know, I I came from a a, a a terrible, you know, situation. Like my 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 living conditions was like a lot worse than a lot of people, and I can say that for yeah. upfront. Like yeah. I grew up in a bad living situation. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And I can I can be the first to say that I knew that that wasn't going to be my living That's not situation be the end forever. forever. Yeah, you know what I mean. Point. Yeah, and yeah. I, and I was even, and even though someone that, again I wasn't religious. Yeah. I wasn't somebody that prayed. I like, never you know went to church. Was bigger, but I always you. knew that, yeah. that wasn't that wasn't me. That wasn't true. I yeah. always said to myself, like, yo, I'm supposed to be somebody. Right. Because yeah. whether anything I did in life, like whether I played baseball, whether I rap, like I yeah. did it good. At a high and level. people and people respect they they were like, yo, that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, kid's gonna go somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It was just when I when I got off the baseball field, when I got off the, the studio and I had to go back home, it was kind of like you went back to that living situation. And every time I came out that living situation, people just looked at me as this higher person. So I always knew that that the, the person that I was living in yeah. wasn't the real me, yeah. right? So when you know you when you go through trial and error, because people think it's trial and tribulation, yeah. but it's not trial it's and trial. tribulation. It's trial and error. Yeah. Yes, sir. And when you when you when you fail, amount of times that I failed, like something has to work. Yes. Something, something has to work. Something, something gotta gotta when, yeah, yeah. When, you when, scratching at the surface. Yeah, you mm -hmm. you tried everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, the thing is, like I told you before, most people don't try anything. Yeah, that's they want to they want to fail. They don't want to fail. They just yeah. want they me. Just I was give it to I you was at a point where I was like, that, you know? I'm a fail. Fuck yeah. it. What I got to lose? I'm a you gotta, fail. You gotta embrace it. You know what I mean? So I embrace failure more than the average person, and then boom. Good things start to happen to me. Yeah. And then I was always smart when it came to finances. I was never the type of person that cared about. Like, don't get me wrong. I had like a lot of materialistic things, yeah. but it wasn't it wasn't things that I cared for. Yes. I didn't have to go and buy like you know a, a brand new car. I didn't have to go and buy a um a AP Rolex. I didn't have to, uh, a AP or a Rolex. I didn't have to go and buy these things, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. or I didn't have to go and buy drip. That I didn't care for that, right? Yeah. I wanted to make sure that my family was good. You know, I had a I had a, a, a house over my head that didn't you know have roaches and rats in them yeah and i just wanted my family to be better off right yeah so Absolutely. when that's the mindset for me like even still like people think that i'm successful now i'm, I'm nowhere near no. where i'm going to be like just like i know i'm gonna be saying, yeah. i'm gonna be worth 10 million yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, I know yeah, i'm gonna be worth yeah, 10 million yeah, yeah. you know what i mean sure. i don't know how i'm gonna how I'm get to 10 million yeah right but i know with by the time i'm 35 40 i'm 10 million yeah you know what i mean it's a fact so the, i i that's and a couple that, of years. That's, that's a couple that's, of years. That's, that's, that's four or five years. years. That's four or five years. years. Yeah. But sure. I know that because I understand business. I understand sales. I understand how to make money, make money, you know? Yeah. And I think a lot of people, they, 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 they lack the information of how do I make a dollar turn to two and how do I make two turn to four? You yeah. know what I mean? Right. I, I've right. already equipped myself with the knowledge to mm -hmm. make money, make money, make money yeah. that in the, in the next four or five years like bro nah it's gonna be massive man like, just, yeah. just just with the networking space that we're just entering this year and the it's year gonna be before crazy. that you know we, we're partnering up and we're working with a lot of big names you know that's gonna really push this brand to another level and yeah. you know it's just uh it's just like you know the trials and errors like we don't we don't come from the regular neighborhood you know what i'm saying like, yeah. we we've we been through it you know we, yeah. we was outside like we would like to say that we was outside yeah. you know so it's, it's an easier relationship that you could kind of build with people. Yeah, like, a lot of people. You live with people. I know a lot of people, bro. Yeah, like, I, a yeah. lot of people know they're familiar with who I am. Yeah. Um, no matter the age group, like mm -hmm. I, I just I was outside to a point where like people, people know me. Yeah. You know, so it's, it doesn't. It's not like it comes from a fake place. Yeah. You know how you can see a, somebody like Ty Lopez. Right, uh, you, and you don't know, you don't know where he's yeah. from. Yeah. Where you like, like where you, you like from? The you, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like, like, where, where, like, where, like where you from though? Like you, you from you know Cali? You from yeah. you know the valley? People, like people, where... people can attest to like they know me. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And um, I think that that's what's great about you know being a product of influence. Yeah, because most people say, "Oh, I'm a product of my environment." environment. But yeah. for me, it's like I'm a product of influence, right? And um. I, I could I could literally help influence. you know I could literally help anybody 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You come from the same struggle as me, I can help you. If you come from a better situation, it's even better because you got more yeah, money, yeah, yeah. you got more resources. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to definitely so, help you. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. Let, me, let me throw this e book and go to the next course. Yeah. We're going to yeah. make this so work. If you really yeah. think about it, like you can help people from all levels. Yeah. But yeah. I like helping people that are less fortunate yeah. because when they start making money, they know how to pay it forward. Forward, you know what I'm saying? yes. And that, and that's you know when people say and I, and I love this you know when people say oh it's it's it's, it's uh, chess not checkers mm-hmm. yeah remember that yeah for yeah. me it's checkers not chess facts yeah and the reason why it's checkers is because in checkers bro once you become the king you can always move back bro mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying when you can yeah. move back you can help everybody else eat Ooh, nah, you know think, what I'm saying I think Ooh. that's yo when and once checkers, you, you once you once you tap me in because I I was I was a person that I was like yo I play chess I don't play checkers because I like to move you know strategically you know what yeah. I mean you make a move I make another move yeah but once he broke that ideology to me in the sense yeah. of like yo you give it back now you know what yeah. I'm saying that is my major vocation right. yeah right all of this full circle right what we doing is to give back right, right? like we could create all these tools and, and create the best community for everybody you and doing. everything but yeah. at the end of the day it's not gonna matter to me yeah. if the give back is not you know in place you know yeah. and checkers once you get checkmate the game is over I said it's yeah. done. Bro, and check and, 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 and I said in chess or checkers in chess and chess, chess. Yeah. Yeah. once you cross over game's done yeah and checkers, once you cross over, you a king. And then everybody else becomes a king when they yeah. keep crossing over. Wouldn't it be more fun to have more kings yeah. so on, a a game, on the playing board? That's a fact. I want everybody around me to be a king. Yes, yeah, sir. And then we're gonna go attack every every other obstacle. Now look at the other the other the other uh checker. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's gonna be an obstacle. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, what huh? you that's what you're trying to beat. Obstacles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you feel me? Obstacles, obstacles, not ops. Yeah. You're, yeah. 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 you're so, not my ops, but you know. Yeah. That's how I look at it, and that's yeah, why absolutely. my life is always different. Cause I I don't know how to play checker, uh, play chess. Yeah, I'm not strategic. I've never sat down and understand. No one sat me down and said, "Hey, this is how you play chess." Yeah, but I know how to play checkers. Yeah, right. And checkers is very simple. So when you add that together and you start to realize that checkers is actually simplistic, yeah. you don't need a real strategy behind it. And then once somebody wins, they could come back and help you. Yeah. Now, I'm think, all in. I think it's like even like in the industry now, like, you know, when people end up getting to that place, right? They already created their fortress. Yeah. Right? And they everybody, don't come back. And then everybody that they inside that fortress, they lit. They yeah. good. That's it. That's because it's checkers. Yeah. That's because chess, not checkers. Out, they don't come outside of that. You know, you yeah. see a certain few that are giving back and providing yeah. things to the community and, and, and that's being a, a temple to that light. You that's because for them it's so, chess, right? Yeah, once it's chess. once you get to the once you get to the end in chess, you won. Yeah. Why do you gotta come back for anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. won. And that's how most people view life. It's chess, not checkers. Because once they get there, it's fuck everybody else. Yeah. But for me, that's not the mindset. No. Mm-hmm. For yeah. me, it's like, yo, we coming back and everybody else around me gonna be a king. And I can guarantee it. I stand by it. Yeah. Uh, anyone, you feel a, me? Any, anyone, anyone that is with us through 2022 will be kings and queens. That's oh, for sure. That's one of the. That's one of the most beautiful things. Um, I'm very, I'm very spiritual. Um, so it's ha- I'm ha- I'm just happy to see that one of my models with anything with God in it has to work. Mm-hmm. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Facts. So. It's just crazy to see, you know, how you guys tied all together. We got spiritual. Yeah. We spoke good vibes. But if you really pay attention to everything we said, it's not tied to a religion. It's tied to a mentality. It's tied to an emotion. It's tied to something greater than all of us. You know what I'm saying? And that's your mindset. You said has to work, has to work. And that's the mentality you live by every day. Most people are living fear-based. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We'll we'll lose money on a depreciative sneaker, mm-hmm. but we won't lose money betting on ourselves in the market. That you know what I'm saying? No and that's because it's insecurity no and sense. failure. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm gonna give you an example, right? So mm-hmm. let's talk about confidence, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Confidence is not real. Mm-hmm. There's no such thing as right. confidence. Right. Yeah. It's a tangible thing. Right? Yeah. There's no such thing as confidence. The reason there's no such thing as confidence is because you have to be competent. Competent, in order yeah. to build confidence. Yes, sir. Right? You don't just wake up confident. Yeah. Right? If I'm going to fight an amateur boxer right now, right? Yeah. Let's say I'm going to go fight an amateur boxer and I've never trained before. Mm-hmm. Am I going to be confident or scared? I'm going to be scared. Right? Be scared. And now what if you go to the gym every single day and you work out every single day and you train every single day and they tell you, yo, fight this dude. What are you going to say? 
Let's go. Why? Rumble young men. Rumble. Not because you're yeah. confident. Because uh -huh. you yeah. built competence. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the same thing with trading. If you don't trade every day, and if you don't look at charts every day, mm -hmm. how are you going to be competent? Yeah. You're not going to be competent. Yeah. Right? So you're not going to have any confidence. And then once you take your first L, what are you going to say? I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done. I can't do right? this. Why? Because you're thinking about the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? When you think about being competent, and yeah. you think about growing as an individual and saying, yo, I'm going to master this shit to the... To the point where this is my real job. This is what is going to pay me every single day. Yes, sir. And when you have that mindset, you begin to build uh, competence. Yes, sir. And once you're competent in that in that level of winning, now it's kind of like you feel like you can't lose. Like yeah. when I lose, I'm kind of like, like this was just happened. This is weird. This is weird. Yeah, yeah, weird. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, I, I yeah. and it's because I built on. I built competence. So now I'm confident in all yeah. of my trades. Yeah. And that's why I feel like confidence isn't real. Yeah, I feel like you gotta build competence in order to obtain confidence. Yeah, yeah, but you only become confident once you, like, once you feel like you a beast. Like, like my man Ed, like he he plays football. He right, he yeah. like he played wide receiver. Right, he feel there's nobody that can touch him on that field with his hands. Yeah, why does he feel that way? He's trained from whenever he's trained till now, like. When he catch a football, he feel like Odell. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he, he built, built competence. He you got to build that. He, he didn't just that, step yeah. on the field and, and catch it. And, you know what I'm saying? His first, it could have been a miss. Yeah. He could have threw him a ball and he probably missed. And he said, you know what? I ain't I'm never going to miss again. again. Yeah. But you need that. You need that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's competence, bro. That first, that, yeah. first miss, that first lesson, and if you grasp it like that, you yeah. know, it's a, it's a game changer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're strategic about everything. And, and just the approach is... Like you said, it's way much more with confidence, you know. Like, if you think that people just became millionaires overnight in the market, crazy. that's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we have people that, that try to, like, you know, make thousands off 100 bucks. Like, don't get me wrong. It's definitely possible. It's possible I've yeah. done it before a thousand times. Yeah. But the thing is, though, you got to be strategical about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your approach is very different. It's not like, yo, one day to another, I'm going to just get it. But... You know, it, it, it's it's a it's a day to day thing. You know, like yeah. anything else, if you wake and and breathe it, you know, and, and you go about it, and you put yourself with the right people, and you know, yeah. you can assess a, a way much more a different approach. You know, and, and it's now we're so much more accessible to these communities, right? It's a, a lot of great things happening. So you know, putting yourself around that conversation yeah. or just the the environment of that is is gonna make you grow. So what so what comes to so you said your conversation, right? So what comes to mind when a person says, if you change your conversation, you can change your compensation? Absolutely. That's tough. That's tough. What comes That's to mind? Tough. Because even this conversation right now, we're just having right now. Yeah. Right? We're talking about a financial conversation, right? Yes. Whoever's listening to this are tapping into that level of brand of ear, yeah. right? Because now it's like what you're tailored to, right? On the gram. Yeah. I don't follow people. I only follow educational things yes, sir. motivational things right because yes, now i'm tailoring way much more to that conversation because yeah. that's gonna be my net worth right yeah, it's you like know? you are what you consume absolutely yeah. you know and you know how it is on the ground right there's yeah. so much it's disturbance toxic. and it's toxic it's you know so it's, it's a lot of distraction you know so in reality if you just focus on one thing you know if that main conversation is financial literacy or just finding these tools for that entrepreneurship yeah you know groups are doing the same things you know, it makes it a lot much more easier for you to be a way much more efficient like that. You, you know? said uh, you said off the record earlier that m money in our community is not the issue. No. And I think it it, it piggybacks on what you just said is that we're just distracted. Yeah. Um. So going to that conversation, right? So I said money is never the issue because if somebody wants something, they're gonna go get it. Yeah. Fact. Right. So I have a lot of friends that have Burberry, Gucci, Prada. Oh man. Um, Cartier. Yeah. You know, Cartier. Right? Yeah. 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 They got all this. They got all this. Right. You know, I got a little say. You know, say essentials. Right. So it's <laughs> chain. So everyone has the money to go and get these 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 items. Right. Mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. if you have five hundred dollars, right. Yeah. And let's say, let's say a um. Uh, Montclair costs a thousand dollars, right? Yeah. You could take that five hundred dollars and learn from somebody on how to make a thousand dollars. Yes, sir. Right? But most people aren't gonna pay for education because it's not tangible. Mm -hmm. You can't right. you can't put it in your closet, mm -hmm. you can't put it on, mm -hmm. yeah. other people can't see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look what yeah. I learned over there. You yeah. can't yeah. see it, yeah. Yeah. it's not tangible. It change, yeah. So most people don't realize that that education is more powerful than at the actual product. That's right, and, it's, and, and, and I told you this that it comes down to culture, right? Um, I break it down like this, guys. 
You ever play 2K with somebody that that as soon as they get on, they they hit the pause button, they go to the settings and they start changing the camera, yeah. they start changing all these things, and yeah. you kind of like, oh, they cheating, they cheating. right? They, they cheat change code. It. You know what that actually is? Is that us as people, we live in default settings our whole lives. Ooh. We don't change nothing. Yeah. CEO. And, and the yeah. person that... CEO, person, you heard that shit. Yeah. Look, look. The person, shit, the person that changes everything, yeah. mm -hmm. they're changing the camera angle mm -hmm. to how they view the game. Facts. And if you don't change the camera angle on how you view the game, <laughs> you're only going to see the game from yeah. one, one side. Yeah. One side. Once I learned how to change my camera angle... Ooh. I see everything different. Mm -hmm, I, I see mm -hmm. things. I'm more optimistic than pessimistic. Yes, yeah. sir. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm always looking for, you know, an opportunity to say, yo, nah, this, this is, this is how you should man. do it. Right? Not, oh, yo, this sucks. I'm not going to do it. No, like, let's tackle it at a different angle so that yes, we sir. can accomplish yeah. this goal. You know, people act like if I traded, I never lost. Yeah. Or like, you know, like I've never sold, if I never did products for free, like before, I did free sh trainings. Yeah. Yeah. I did a lot of free shit. Like, this year was yeah. crazy. You know, I've been doing this for back, two yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of free game before yeah. somebody said, you know what, I'm going to pay this car $10,000. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when I got my first $10,000, it was up from there. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that I try to tell people like, because people, they don't, they feel like, like, like they're, they're afraid of failure and yeah. like, they don't think that people don't deserve like you deserve a a, a, a a dream customer. You yeah. deserve somebody to pay you ten thousand dollars to sit with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how I feel. Yeah, and when I started to feel that way, I made thirty thousand dollars on three ten thousand dollar deals. Yeah, easy. Easy. You know what easy. I mean? And easy. why is it? Th is because I know that I'm my conversations. If you have a conversation with me, you're gonna grow. Yeah. And I feel like if you're gonna grow from me, that you gotta compensate me mm -hmm. for the information that mm -hmm. I'm gonna provide for uh, you. Yeah, so much. it's why just I a fact. The other one? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Keep can you tell us? Can you tell us on camera now about the the boats that you were talking about? Like the boats, you said the boats of millionaires. Like you know, oh. you've missed the boats. You said okay, right yeah, now yeah, we're in the okay. boat of information. I, I, I give you, I give but you I want to break that so down. Break, for yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They so deserve much. that. They deserve that. So, so what I was telling, what I was telling you guys was, every every generation and every century there was an opportunity for you to get rich. Yes, sir. Right. So um, back in the in the in the in the eighteen hundreds, you had people that were like blacksmiths. Yes, right, sir. people that was, uh, you know, creating steel. Right, mm -hmm. um, then in the 1900s, you had uh, people that was loaning, um, loaning money and loaning assets. Yeah. Right, so basically it was like a pawn shop. Right, so what it would be is if you give, if you, if I give you money, you got to give me an asset to hold if, in, in case you can't pay it back. Yeah. Right, and that money's gonna come with interest. So if you understand the banking system, the banking system is a replica of those people, yes. right? Because anytime the bank loans you money, what they get from you, they get yeah. interest. They get Same interest, thing with yeah. credit cards. Huh? So the the people that are living the most, the the reason that they go in debt is yeah. because they don't have the actual money and they need it through the banks and the credit cards. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. So that's how they established how to get rich. When you got into the 20th century, you got the dot-com boom. Right, where everybody was creating a website. There was a website for anything. Yeah. Right? And it was because that was the internet phase, right? Yeah. When you got to the internet phase, most people became multimillionaires. Mm -hmm, that's where mm -hmm. you got your Mark Zuckerberg, you got your Jeff Bezos, you got your Elon Musk, that's right? The, you got all the, those. That's the web too, right? Right? There, you, you, got, too, yeah. you got all of those. Now you're getting into the phase of the information. Web 3, right? baby. So when you get to... When you get to the information phase, this is how you equip yourself with enough knowledge to help other people become successful. Mm -hmm, because everybody mm -hmm. wants to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm, Everyone mm -hmm. is already, they're overthrowing the nine to five life. Right. Like, yo, that's not for me. That's not, that's not for me. That's not so it. if they're in the phase of no longer wanting to work, right, then who's going to be the people to equip them with that knowledge? It ain't going to be the government. Right. Because the government programmed you to work. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. now that you're no longer want to work, you got to go to the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And who else but the entrepreneur, but besides everybody in this room, right? right? So everybody in, in this room has to master a skill mm -hmm. and master the information. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to be a multi-millionaire, all you're going to have to do is target everybody that wants to be an entrepreneur. Absolutely. That's and that's big, how you that's become, a, and that's that, a, that's and how you now, become a millionaire. And now just from how the culture is being shifted to that aspect, right? I go to college, get a job, you know, and live a nice, happy life. Don't get me wrong. That's, I yeah. know a bunch of people doing in very the traditional well. Sense. And, you know, that's and that works for somebody. No, that great. works for some no, people. I'm not, telling, yeah. I'm not telling you. Traditional bro. is fire, bro. Yeah, it you know? is. But it yeah. works. Again, 
it, everything works differently for 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 everybody else. Yeah. Right. Right. We're and some people can make it out of the traditional setting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Some people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not everybody can make it not out. Not everybody. Traditional and setting. that's the yeah. God honest truth. Yeah. No, that's true. And that's, that's true. the truth. Like, the traditional now... setting is not set for everybody. Now the entrepreneurial set, that's for everybody. But it comes down to the people that want to be great. Yeah. Yes. How yeah. how much how 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 hard are you willing to work? How, how bad you really want it? You know yeah. If you're not willing to work, if you're not willing to equip yourself and read a book, bro, I read a book every. Yo, week. Yo, this is crazy yeah. though. Like, you I know, read a book every week. The people will be saying like, "Yo, um," and that's gangster too. Every, yo, I quit my gangster. job nine to five, but now I'm working twenty four seven. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I like, I'm literally working twenty four seven every day. Like this, this thing is is a nonstop mission because yeah. at the end of the day. Once we're done with 50 calls, answering 1,000 DMs, we still got to sharpen up our, our own edges and yeah. our own tools, too. So that ne- that way, the next day, we're already prepared to to, to attack the day. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's very, you know, interesting on how we're pretty much focusing now way much more on the entrepreneur area, you know, than just the traditional, you know, nine to five. But, you know, being a part, once again, about, around people like this and, 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 you know, speaking that conversation and being leaders to that conversation yeah. to help people out. You know, it's just an amazing thing. Yeah. It comes down to how much are you willing to succeed? How much do you want to succeed? Just, that's a real answer, right? Like, how much... I mean, that's a real question. How much do you want to succeed, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And for me, it's like Jim Rohn said, um, if you motivate an idiot, then you have a motivated idiot. Yeah. That doesn't that doesn't mean that that person that you motivated... It's, it's going to be successful. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It, it, yeah. it doesn't mean that. Yeah. It means if someone's an idiot, they're an idiot. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you say to them, they're an idiot. Yeah. Right? How do they not become an idiot? They have to educate themselves and sharpen their iron. Yeah. Right? Most people don't sharpen their iron. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln said, if I had eight hours to cut down a tree, I would spend seven hours sharpening my knife. Yeah. Right? When you look at it, he talked about preparation. Yes, sir. Most people don't prepare yeah. for what the next level looks like. Yeah. Right? I just sent another thing out to, to my team and I told them, um, earn your leisure, which is a huge podcast, right? Yes, yeah, Rashad, Rashad just posted um, on his Instagram. He said, Yo, in 2019, I created a, a 13 uh, a 13 step um a 13 step plan on how to launch uh earn your leisure. Yeah. Right? It was it was originally going to call money respect money respect and power. Mm-hmm. That was what originally it was going to be called yeah. before we became, became earn your leisure. leisure yeah. It was a thirteen step uh uh thirteen step awesome. module. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I just had a free summit with, with 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 fifteen to eighteen students. Right. The ones that were that were that were serious about it. I I, I had a Zoom with them the, the the following day, and I said, "Yo, you have to put together a ten step plan." You know what that just told me? That me and Rashad read the same book. The only thing was he read it in 2019. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. that 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 action plan, that, that's it's from same, a book. It's the same yeah. So we read the right same now. exact yeah. book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I just when, when he posted that, I was literally in front of this the this, this studio. And when I seen his post, I said, yo, he read the same book as me. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But that goes to tell you he was his mindset was he was ahead of me. Yes. Mm-hmm. He was ahead of me by three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Now what I gotta do is I gotta. I gotta be the person that tells my team, yo, you need to create this 10 step action plan. And yeah. we're gonna we're gonna implement those those moves, right? And I got Ed, I got Carl, I got his girlfriend, right? I got them all implementing these 10 step moves, mm-hmm. all from a book that I've read. Yeah. And Rashad read the same book. Yeah, the crazy same thing book. about it is that give back. It's like it's a full circle thing, you know, because at the end of the day, we we are reciprocating all this information and we're like literally like a, a vessel to this um education. And we literally providing all the source, all the value, everything from the experiences, from the education, from the networking, and you know, just from the our approach, you know, it's a beautiful thing how you know we pretty much soak everything in and we pretty much get ready to yeah, give it back to. out to everybody, you know. And we not we don't fearful about that. Like a lot of people tend to, you know, try to upsell you their knowledge. Like, yeah, you could do that, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're not providing the experience, you're not providing your whole sum, yeah. you know, then at the end of the day it doesn't really matter at all. You know, yeah. I want I wanna be there with you. I wanna, you know, pretty much see your growth. I wanna be a part of that growth. I wanna see how it's gonna impact you and your family. I wanna see yeah. how it's gonna impact you in your life, you know. I wanna be there. I wanna be like, yo, let's go, man. Yeah. Now you now you gotta go to the next step. Like, let's keep pushing forward. You know? I give so, you an example. Gary V said, if you can't give out enough information every single day, then you're not qualified for that position. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So 
a lot of times people just try to sell information and package it. But if you can't give out free game and still have enough sauce on the side that you can charge yeah, for, yeah, yeah. then you're not equipped. To, you, you you're, not, really you're not it. equipped in you the first place. You don't got it. You, you know what I'm yeah, So yeah. when you hear things like that from, from, from moguls, it, it excites me because it's like, yo, bro, I got so much sauce. Yeah, and it's not I even, got so much sauce, even done. Bro. Like we we learn sauce every day just from this conversation right yeah. here. We you know we pretty much ping ponging a bunch of things, and you know yeah. we're gonna walk out of here with a new mindset. Oh, yeah. bro, I, I pride myself that nobody in a room is gonna read more than me. Nah, There's nobody sure. in this room sure. that read more books than me. Like, yeah. I got pride myself in that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because we got you the same twenty four hours. We got the same twenty four hours, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I can guarantee that I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna chill. We gonna do the same thing. We gonna yeah. we gonna go out. Whatever you do, I'm gonna do with you. Mm-hmm. But guess what? I'm gonna read. I'm gonna set more time because I'm more disciplined. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna put more time to the side. And I'm gonna read a book. And you're not gonna read more than me. And I pride myself in that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I and I and, I, key, and, and, mm-hmm. and that's where the educate. Like yo, bro. They always said that if you know if you want to hide something from somebody, put it in a book. Yeah. Like that. That was that's when key. I heard that quote. <laughs> when I when I heard when I heard that quote, I said, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out and and, and and I'm gonna read as many books because people got they they hide in secrets in books. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like yo, you know, I was you thinking know? I was thinking about this the other days. It's just like you know, like you know, in high school when they used to make you go through like these English classes and they used to make you read these books and things like that. Like yo, you know, the concept of them giving you these vocabulary words for you to change and understand exactly what's happening inside the literature is phenomenal because you know what they were pretty much doing they were teaching us a vocabulary right yeah. they were teaching us how to enhance our imagination they were teaching us how to pretty much put these words and make meaning from them right yeah. like you could say the same word and i could say the same word but the way you mean it and the way i'm meaning it and my approach to it could be very different yeah. so you know what literature does um it's a it's a beautiful thing man yeah. in that sense you it's know? almost like for those young rappers out there it's like you can you can rap without cursing you know, if My you, man, SNS, you yeah, if yeah. you if you have an extensive vocabulary, you read book, you've oh, been no, exposed course, to different yeah. things. You can express yourself in so many different ways, yeah, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of us only express our ways in, in the minimum way that we know how to do. Again, this comes down to earlier, yeah, when, yeah, I, when, yeah, I, when yeah, I when yeah, I when yeah. I broke down culture. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. bro, we live in a default setting. Yeah, Most nobody, nobody want to change their bro, setting listen, for nothing, man. Like, I tell you this: if you if you have a Jew, right? You have a Jew. Right, and then you have a Latino person from the Bronx. Yeah, you got a Jew and a Latino person. They both from the Bronx. The Jews from the Bronx, the Latinos from the Bronx. They're gonna grow up and have completely different friends. Right? When you talk about religion, what religion is the Jew gonna be? Jewish. Grew up in the Bronx, same as you. They Mm -hmm. live in the same Mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's Jewish. Right? His culture, his mindset. His guidance, it's, it's going to be way different than it's yours. Different, yeah. They yeah. they probably live in the building because they own the building, mm-hmm. right? Pretty much, pretty right? much, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Why? Yeah, because sure. they understand. Remember when I, when I, when we go back to the eighteen hundreds, and I told you mm-hmm. who are the people that the people that are multimillionaires? It's the landowners, yeah. right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The landowners are the multimillionaires. The Jew, the Jews, they read the the Torah. The mm-hmm. Torah is broken up to tell you how to live your life. Yeah, we was just talking about this in our car right, right here. How to live your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah we were right? talking about it in our car and, right and, here. And the, see, for Christianity, it's the Bible, mm-hmm. right? They give how you the to, rules how, and things give, like that, they, they, you know? They, see, the thing about the Bible is they 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 uh they restrain you. Yeah. They they they, 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 they teach you how to conform. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You understand? Instead of in the Bible, I mean, the Torah, they teach you how to live. Right? It's yes. like it's like it's like someone is, is confining you to a box, and there's another one that's confining you to the world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's, it's one difference. opening up your imagination. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, like, yeah. if you want to be successful, this is what you got to do. Yeah. You have to loan money out. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Because people are going to pay interest. Yeah. You have to, um, you have to uh, set yourself up with land. Why? Because that's going to produce income, yeah. right? So they set themselves up to teach you these tools, right? These tools, these tools and tools, resources. Yeah. All you got to do is read it. And the Bible is completely different. That's yeah. tough, man. Right? And, and that's and, and that's why right now we have that kind of you know gap between you know all these different successful people because not just to say that they already were brought up to this establishment to to live their lives to be like I bet you know mm-hmm. you could use your finances like this and you could use your, like finance like this yeah. instead of like you know I get money right now. I want to just be the first fleetest person, and mm-hmm. you know, it's a big different culture, you know, a, a shift. But 
Yeah. Um, it's just an amazing thing. At the end of the day, it doesn't really comes down to you know not just the culture, but just the individual. Because mm-hmm. we've seen that, like a lot, we see a lot of people from different cultures still doing the same thing and producing on that that max level, like where your yeah. body, spirit, and mind is fully intact into what you're doing. You know, now we're starting to see that happening and manifest from a lot of people. Like a lot yeah. of people are starting to go into their vessels more instead of like just being you know a a. a just a body yeah. and then I'm saying you're putting way much more use to your soul now and yeah. you know pretty much vocalizing that you know what I'm saying so it's a beautiful thing yeah I mean a lot of it is just trying to bring value to people and knowing try to see the long the long term of, of seeing more than people see at that moment that default you know what I'm saying viewing, yeah. that, that default viewing mm-hmm. that very short sightedness and mm-hmm. it's crazy because I just got a text from one of my players and he says, Happy New Year, Coach. Thanks for encouraging me when I needed it back in the day. It means a lot. That's and a job, it, to me, it was bigger than just... It was like baseball is my platform to get to these kids. Right, right, right. And it's bigger than baseball. Mm-hmm. You know, this kid's in high school now. I mm-hmm. coached him when he was 12. He's a wow, sophomore now. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he remembered that experience with uh-huh, me. Uh-huh. We won a lot of games. Mm-hmm. I taught him how to hit. And now he's a high school athlete. Wow. Something that he thought he couldn't do. Right, right, until right. you met somebody that says, why can't you? Right, right, you know, right, so a right, lot right. of us, we, we look at that person that says, why can't you? Like they're crazy. Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like we have to do this traditional sense of sitting in an office wearing a bum ass shirt and tie. Mm-hmm. If it was up to my mother, I fucking drive yeah. the BX15 <laughs> bus because she thinks fucking <laughs> city jobs are the yeah, most secure yeah, things yeah, in the yeah, world, yeah, but that's you not got, me. You got to pinch it, you know what I'm saying? One thing, one thing. I had a class. I had a class last week, and um, I forgot who said it, but he said, "Yo, if you want to be successful, you have to be delusional." Yeah. Mm. And when I heard that shit, I was like, "Yo, that's the perfect way to identify success." Because a lot of times, like if you tell your mom you want to be a football player, she'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." But, drink she, the fur, but man. you know what it is? She don't know that you delusional. Yeah. And, and if you really want to be. Like if you really wanted to be a football player or a baseball player or a basketball player, like you really you have, have to, to be, be delusional. delusional. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have to go out like, and you see people shooting. One, no you see no the people what, shooting in like, the rain. Yeah. They in the rain. Going crazy. They going yeah. crazy. Yeah. Right. Like I give you an example. Last last thing because we got to get out of here, guys. Yeah. Um, you see the kid Hansel. The, yeah, to all yeah, 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 one arm. Yeah, one from yeah, yeah. DR. Shout out to him. So you go over the podcast. He said he said he gonna yeah. go to the NBA. Bro. That's a fact. You know what's he, crazy? That he's he's delusional. That he's, is, he's manifesting had a, he, his delusion. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, he put himself mm-hmm. like everybody put him in a box because this kid is 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 uh, is disabled. Yeah, he's, but he's not the he said, "Yo, don't put me in that box because I'm delusional." Yeah, like it has to work or it has to work. Yeah, that's a fact. When when I when I talk about you know the way that I speak, yo, bro, he's the living example of, of, of being that. delusional yeah. or being it has to work or it has to work so when you have these these conversations it just makes the most sense yes sir. you know so i i, I um I know we got to wrap it up, yeah. so uh, I I just had to let you guys you know leave off with that. Yeah. Um, and let's just have a a, a quick wrap up because we got to go. Um, so if you want to uh, you know, end it, transition it. I mean, yeah, we're gonna transition out. Uh, definitely go tap in with the Discord. Invest in yourself this year. This is the first day of 2022. Yes, sir. Go yes, invest sir, in man. yourself. Go bet on yourself. Um, do what you got to do, man. Think about your legacy and what you... My man Legacy is going to be on here soon. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk real estate with him, but definitely you know, worry about your, your legacy and what you want to leave in this world, the market you want to leave. Right. Make sure you donate to Slice of Excellence. We trade with Paul Carter right. Pizza. It's that simple. That's what's We're helping you youth all around the city and all around the country. Um, tapping with the Discord. You know, the CEO Planet is right profits. here. Planet Profits. Um, it's day one, you know. So what are you going to... Right now, everybody was last night... Toasting was, and yeah, champagning and manifesting. Bed, you are manifesting, manifesting. You are manifesting what you wanted to do. Bed, now actually you know? go do it. Let's Make sure it. you like, subscribe, comment, tap in. Yo, let's let's go. go, guys. Later, Happy guys. New Year's, man. Yo, Yo bro. Happy New Year's. Yo, bro.